Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Wine. Welcome back to art class. Today, we will begin painting our Pete Mondrian inspired artworks. And today, we will be using the primary colors. So, let's take a look at our paint palette and see if we can remember what the primary colors are. The primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. Now today we're gonna to start with just one color. And today we want to start with the primary color that has the lightest value. So remember colors have value, light, medium, and dark. The lightest value is white, and the darkest value is black. So if we wanna start with the lightest value, look at yellow, red, and blue, and ask yourself which one of those colors has the value closest to white. That's right, it's yellow. Yellow has the lightest value. So today when we're painting, we only want to start with yellow. Now, what I need to do with this paint is I'm gonna take my brush and my water I'm gonna start by making sure that my brush is clean by checking it on my napkin. I see that it's clean. And now I'm gonna put the brush into the yellow and I'm just gonna stir it around for a few moments to make sure that I can get some yellow paint on my brush. Once I'm certain that I have yellow paint on my brush, then I'm ready to pick one of my rectangles or one of my squares and start painting it in neatly. So I wanna hold my brush just like I hold a pencil. Most of you are right-handed, so you're gonna be holding it like this. But I'm a lefty, so I'll be doing it the opposite. I like to put my hands close to where the metal part is to make sure that I can control it. And then, to paint neatly, I'm gonna start by going around the outside edges, just like I would do if I was coloring. This is gonna help me stay inside the lines and inside my square or my rectangle. And then I'm gonna just paint in the shape. Now, if my brush starts to run out of paint, I get another drip of water and a little more paint. I wanna make sure the shape is one solid color so I can just keep getting more water and more paint. And then when I'm finished, I want to check for peekaboo spaces, any space that I missed. Once I've covered all my peekaboo spaces, I know I'm ready to find another shape. Now I want to balance my color, so I don't want to put any yellows touching side by side. I'm going to get a little more paint, and I can skip a space. Maybe I'll come over here and paint one on the edge. So I always start by outlining first and then carefully painting in the whole shape. Then I check for peekaboos and I color them in. And that's it. I'm just going to keep going until some of my shapes are painted yellow. I want to leave lots of spaces empty today because I want to have lots of spaces to go back next week and add the other primary colors. I hope you have a wonderful week and until next time, keep on creating. 